Activewear apparel is a new and emerging market that wool is going into. Typically you wouldn't think of workout clothes being made out of wool, but um, in fact the fiber properties of wool are exactly what you want. Um, they work with your body to wick moisture away to keep you cool while you're working out and um, just overall keep you more comfortable when it's the, t the proper wool is used in activewear apparel. The proper wool to be used in activewear apparel should be less than 20 microns. You really want to shoot for an 18 or 19 micron range. And when I say micron, that's the fiber diameter. Wool is itchy. 30 micron wool is itchy. Uh, your coarser wools that should be used in carpets. So with the rise of synthetics, we've really seen our industry straighten up a little bit in the type of wools that we're putting in apparel products and making sure that it's high quality wool that you want next to your skin. We're making sure that we're getting the right wool put into the right garments so consumers are happy with their apparel. In addition to that, you'll make a very lightweight garment, which uh, is perfect for not only the summertime, but this, is, this lightweight garment is great in the wintertime too. But you're paying for a very high quality product that will last you a very long time. It has excellent durability when comparing it to other fibers. Many things go in and out of fashion. There are trends. You see the clothes coming off of the runways spring and fall. So many companies are having mid-season collections and you almost expect your stores and the mall to have new clothes in every month. So trends are constantly changing. The nice thing about wool, when you spend that much money on apparel, you typically want it to last a long time. So you want more classic pieces, similar to the dress that I'm wearing now, which is made out of 100% wool. This dress will last me a long time. It's a style that won't necessarily go out of style. Unless you live in a larger metropolitan area, and again, still many people believe that wool is only good in colder climates, so when you go farther north, you'll probably be able to find a little bit more wool. Stores aren't wanting to put that high-end apparel in their stores, because once they put it in their store, they potentially will have to mark that down. When you buy in online, and especially when you can turn around and ship it back for free, you don't even have to drive into town to go to the mall to, to look at things. Um, typically when you look online you have an easier time looking at the fiber content, which is one of the reasons why I like online shopping, because I can type in wool in search terms and look up what wool products a particular retailer has and choose from them. So my research focused on following wool through manufacturing here in the United States into activewear apparel. So we had the garments made, but we also had fabric tests done and again, everything that we've thought about wool, its breathability, its durability, its long lasting, all of our fabric tests came back and garment tests came back to show just that. The garments have excellent insulation values. They're still permeable though, meaning that they're breathable. Exactly what you would want in active wear apparel. So here we have every, every step that's necessary for raw wool to become um, a finished product um, as undyed fabric. So here we start with our raw wool and this helps to explain the process that wool undergoes and part of why it's so expensive. So wool starts in the staple form and as you can see it tends to be very clean close to the sheep and gets a little bit dirtier. Therefore, all wool, no matter how clean or bright white it is, needs to be scoured. So the first, that's the first step, is baling it up and getting it scoured. So this is the scoured product, and you can see it's, it's mostly clean, but there's still vegetable matter in it. So the next process, which is carding, it, carding and combing it into wool top, is when that um, vegetable matter will fall through, as well as shorter fibers. So you get it in in this step, in this stage, where you have the wool top which is ready for yarn. Yarn is the next step and you spin it into yarn. There are various thicknesses of yarn to have it put into. This yarn was specifically made for the activewear garments so we just have a single ply yarn that's very, that's very small and lightweight. Going from there we had it put into two different fabrics so here we have a single jersey knit. Typic your, you know, your typical uh, t-shirt material and then an interlock knit which is just a double knit so it's basically this twice done and it's just a little thicker fabric that's better for winter time or cooler days. 